Hi, Dooms! Hi, I'm still Kikuma. I'm still sick. I've been sick for a freaking week. But at least I can talk today. Kind of. I'm still pretty bad, and I'm probably gonna hack the lung at some point during the stream. But hi, Dooms! How you doing? <clears throat> I hope you're okay. Hope you're doing better than I am. Oh my god, my voice is already dying. Okay, well this is, this is promising. I'm going to quickly do some Animal Crossing dailies. Oh my god, my headphones aren't on. What, what am I doing? How do I even stream? My god. Okay, there we go. Now it's not getting picked up by my mic. That would be good. Okay, there is a saw on my headphones. I'm in shambles. <clears throat> You're good? That's good. I'm glad. Here we go. My headphones are on. <coughs> oh, fuck. Well, <clears throat> this is my life now. What am I sitting on? Oh, I'm sitting in my sweater. Okay, give me two seconds. Does this sound popcorning or is that just my headphones? Because I had a saw resting on it. Um, there is a mini hand saw on my desk. Um, don't ask questions. I'll explain why. That's why I'm saying don't ask questions because I just overshare. Um, I have this stupid bottle of hand cream on my desk and, um, I want to get the last little bit out because the straw is like one of those mean straws. Ooh, I should probably look at my screen. Uh, one of those mean straws that, uh, doesn't go far enough down on the bottle. There we go. Okay. Brain, are you working yet? Probably not. That's fine. Discord, minimize you. Firefox, minimize you. OBS, you're over there. Don't need to be in studio mode anymore. I was in studio mode because I realized I still had the wrong game logo up above my head. Okay, let me let me just reset this. Okay, there we go. Now I'm front facing. Let's do some Animal Crossing dailies. Oh. Hold on. I have things to sell. Oh, this feels so laggy because I am playing through the capture card software. Oh gosh. Oh boy, oh boy. That's okay. We can deal. Maybe not so much for the next game, but we'll adapt. Let's go talk to our latest villager. I'd like to point out quickly, uh, this one shouldn't take too, too long because this is my other character who's kind of stylized after Mari from Love Live Sunshine. Let's see what Dottie's cooking. Oh, plain scones. Yummy. That's sarcasm. Not actually that yummy. <clears throat> I feel like I might have to turn the game sounds down a smidge, so I'm going to do that. Let's just talk to her like three times. She moved in yesterday, so we're going to talk to her as much as possible. Oh, well, I guess my other character is an ap uh, atmospheric observationist. <coughs> Hi, I'm dying. I feel like Misa from Death Note might be more accurate representation of Silky's aesthetics, but you know, I tend to play more as Mari for some reason. Okay, let's, oh, boom. I do love the music at this hour. This hour has the best music, hands down. Let's look for some shells. There's a shell. It's a giant clam. <clears throat> didn't get enough time to do my dailies earlier, so that's why we're just kind of going to suffer through them. Oh, shit. I didn't fix the thing. I was going to fix the thing. Stream elements. I forgot. <coughs> oh, my God. Uh, yes, I know I'm live. Thank you. Sorry, I wandered in by accident. Okay, there. Um, edit. I wonder if I can live edit this to not have that. Mm, yeah, let's let's remove that. Huh? Eh. Huh? Save. Does that change anything? Oh, it did get rid of it live. Nice. Okay, yeah, I didn't want to follow our goal things up. I figured that was quite annoying. 
so um yeah i've been sick for a week which has been absolutely miserable my nieces were tiny little snot monsters at thanksgiving and now i'm sick And it kind of sucks. Okay, why is my model like this? My head isn't down. Let's re let's reset that again. There we go. Um, yeah, tiny little snot monsters got me sick. I've been sick all freaking week, and it's been miserable. Normally, lately at least, when I've gotten sick, the last few times I've been sick for at most like five days. But like, I'm still sick. I'm not going out like this. I'm gonna get more people sick if I go out like this. So I'm home and have been home all week and I had to order groceries yesterday so that I'd have groceries today so those came in it was kind of a hassle ordering them though because it's like no this ground meat isn't available and I'm like what about this ground meat they're like no this ground meat isn't available um so that was annoying and then they're like no there's no bananas and I'm like how are there no bananas they're bananas <laughs> What? I don't understand. Why don't you have bananas? Uh, can I count? Yes, this one, I think. I hope. What are we giving Toby? We're giving him a table lamp. Nice. Okay. <coughs> so it started as a sore throat. And... That was really annoying for a couple days, and then it turned into, like, a... It was never quite, like, a runny nose, but it was always, like, kind of clogged nose and filling up my sinuses and giving me a lot of annoying sinus pain, and, like, it screwed up my hearing at one point. So, like, Sunday night, I sat down to watch a movie, and I couldn't hear anything out of my left ear, so that was good. My ears are clear now, which is nice. I can pop them like normal. I am an ear rumbler, so I have control over the ability to pop my ears. It was actually kind of funny, because, like, I was on a flight with two of my friends to Japan, and not we had never, like, discussed ear rumbling before, but as we're starting to take off, my one friend... And I are like, okay, time to start popping our ears. Oh, you're an ear rumbler too? Cool. And the third friend's just sitting there desperately shoving food in his face. <laughs> in a hopes, in like an attempt to get his ears to pop. Because like apparently chewing gum or eating food helps that. <coughs> I didn't even read Bob's question. I just told him cake. Also, I'm like unhinged. So I haven't, like, I normally don't go out much, but it's been worse now, obviously. Because I'm like actually trapped here. So I've been really annoying and like overwhelming <laughs> the last couple days, especially. I'm surprised, like, I didn't... Why is my mouth stuck open? Okay. <laughs> I'm surprised I didn't completely talk my boss's ear off today. But it was funny, because I was talking to him on Friday at the end of the day, and I, like, could not get a sentence out. So he had to be like, no, don't worry, I can hear you. It's okay. <laughs> Just, like, say what you need. <clears throat> Having good friends nearby is helpful. Hi, Moon Ghost. How's it going? Hope you're okay. I am not, but that it is what it is. I'm at least able to stream now. <coughs> I'm still sick. She was just saying, Etoile was just saying, having good friends nearby is great, which is definitely like how I got through this weekend. One of my friends dropped off some day quill and night quill on friday another friend um picked something up for me on saturday and dropped it off for me because i could no longer um fulfill the task of watching a cat for someone for a few hours because i cannot leave the house 
Oh, there's Chai. I can see Chai hiding over there. Let's go talk to her before we go get more wrapping paper. You're sick. I hope you get well soon. Yeah, thank you. I've been sick for a week. So, yeah, I really hope that I get well soon. Because cause this fucking sucks, man. Yeah, a week. No, it's been bad. And I don't have COVID tests, so I don't actually know if it's COVID. Finally had the bright idea to order some. Turns out they're for sale now, which is reprehensible. It's about a shitty fucking attempt at privatization here. Um, but anyway, I gave in and bought two because my boss is expensing them for me. <laughs> <coughs> oh my god. COVID John get ya? I don't know. I have no way of telling. But I did order some tests, so like maybe we'll see if I'm still like testable by the time it, they get in. They got me once. Oh no. I'm sorry. I hope it wasn't too too bad. I tested positive for COVID once, but it was completely asymptomatic, which was kind of amusing to me, but <coughs> obviously like I didn't leave the house or anything my family got twice oh no yeah my family's gotten it a couple times I tested po don't leave without buying wrapping paper silly um <coughs> oh my god okay I should drink water yeah I Narrowly avoided it twice. <coughs> My roommate was like so sick and somehow I never ended up even testing positive. Because we didn't, um, we had like PCR tests at work. So like you'd have to pass a PCR test to be allowed back at work and I passed. So I never ended up getting it um, that time. I tested positive. I need, no, I don't need one more. That's okay. We're good, 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 we're good. Um, yeah, the farm I need to wrap up and give to someone. Um, I attended a wedding the time that I tested positive. It was four days after the wedding that we had our weekly COVID tests, and I tested positive and was put on leave. And then our crew crewed down, and I did not work until that was the end of September last year. I did not work until the end of July of this year. <laughs> so that was <coughs> kind of brutal. Oh, hi, Rocco. What are you doing here? God, it sounds so funny through the, the headphones. A doo -doo 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 -doo. Here's a gift. Um, I was saying earlier, I'm just, like, quickly gonna whiz through these dailies, um, in Animal Crossing on one of my side profiles. Mostly because I ran out of time to do it earlier, but, okay. Hi, why deviate now? Thank you for subscribing with Prime Gaming. Whoa! Holy shit. I guess that's my first subscription. Oh, yeah, I hit affiliate. <laughs> Thank you. Ah! Um, um, I'm gonna run in circles mindlessly. Uh, I'm gonna run in circles around this butt! Around Pom Pom Boudin's butt! <laughs> <coughs> but thank you for subscribing, I really appreciate it, man. <laughs> Holy shit. Why am I getting Discord notifications? I shouldn't be getting Discord notifications. I'm be streaming. Okay, I'm gonna close Discord, because I don't want to hear it. <laughs> But hi, I hope I hope you're doing good, man. Did I just hear the smoke detector beep? I swear to God, I just heard the smoke detector beep in the hallway. Holy shit! Am I going crazy? I might be going crazy. What about is sticky, Marty? Excuse me, pardon. Can you repeat that? I don't want you to repeat that. Never mind. Oh, nope. Mm -mm. You get an ant farm because your house is full of bugs, apparently. Creepy little dude. Oh my god. <coughs> I am so full of phlegm. 
Oh my god. Okay. Water. Water is good. Um. Oh! We're gonna catch this. We're gonna catch this. Ah! Well, fuck! I didn't catch it. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Rip. Mm. Do we have any ghosts in town tonight? I wonder. Because I haven't found one of my... Or I guess my... No, I have multiple deer. I forgot I have bow as well. I, did I have three deer in my town at once? That's insane. I have three lazy characters. Also, uh, you may notice that my town is, or island, I guess, is completely overrun by flowers. Um, I don't, I don't belong here anymore. The town's run by flowers. They, they've taken over. It's just, I'm, I'm just kind of here. <laughs> oh, is anyone reading, uh, Wild Strawberries? Speaking of flowers taking over. It's interesting, but it's like, it definitely feels like it's trying a bit too hard to be Chainsaw Man. I keep on running into things because I am playing through my capture card. Um, but yeah, it's pretty decent so far. Oh, also speaking of, thir what's it about? It's about, uh, did I talk to you, Taj? I did talk to you. Um, it is about like, it's basically kind of like a zombie apocalypse kind of thing but people are infected with um essentially like these flower um this kind of flower virus that's sentient takes over your body and just kind of uses it to spread more of the flower virus it doesn't like it hasn't completely taken over the world it's most it's worst around tokyo um where, like, the mother... Oh, there she is. Girl, why are you fishing? I have a present to give you. So we're around Tokyo, and, like, that's where people who can't afford the vaccine tend to go, and that's where they're more likely to, you know, get all flowery. Yeah, the yeah, it is Last of Us, but with flowers instead of mushrooms. Basically, yeah. Um, <coughs> but it hasn't completely ruined the world. It's just really bad around Tokyo. And there's kind of like a special force to fight it. I need to still find my bottle with a recipe in it. There we go. Well, I should pick these up too. I'll deal with those properly afterwards. I'm not going to deal with selling them. Um. No! Damn it. I missed slightly. But yeah, it's interesting. There's uh, like a special force for fighting these um, flower things. And... You can, like, have the, the virus latent inside you for a while until you, like, spontaneously bloom. So the flower virus kind of takes over. And it's about this, too. Um, it's called Wild Strawberry. There's only, like, seven chapters out. Um, I've been reading it on the, oh, uh, what is the name? Manga Plus app. It's a Shonen Jump series. But it does definitely give some, um... Chainsaw Man kind of vibes, which is cool. <coughs> Where did I pick up the bottle? And I'm just like gaslighting. Oh, no, it's up there. Okay, we're we're okay. We're okay. I'm not completely losing it. I was up until like six a.m. a couple nights in a row because like I can't sleep when I'm sick, even with like Nyquil. It just wasn't happening. I was able to sleep properly last night, though, so that's good, at least. But might also be just kind of like a factor in why I'm a little unhinged the last uh, day or so, few days. Just lack of sleep. Sleep is good for you, kids. You should ah, sleep more. She says that she's prepping to start an insanely addictive game. Okay. 
Why are you still fishing? Anyway, I'm gonna go sell a couple things and then I'm going to. What are your thoughts, sir? Okay, I guess I have a fan now. Yay, my first fan! <laughs> Damn it, I didn't want the fishing rod. Stop it. Ugh. Okay, let's sell a couple shells and then just stand in front of the deer that's fishing until she stops fishing for a second. Oh my god, my voice is starting to go already. It's been a whole 25 minutes. Yeah, sure. Sounds good. Let's go. Whoo! Do you read Dun Dun Dun? No, I don't. I do not read it. Uh, what's it about? I think I've heard of it though. I'm just gonna stare menacingly at her until she stops fishing. Did I just get an email? Oh, that's fine. It's Discord emailing me. Humans versus ghosts and aliens. Interesting. How many chapters is it? I'm gonna... Well, standing here staring menacingly at this deer, getting a little bit too close. Oh, here it is. There's a new chapter out today. No, don't read the chapter, please. No, just go to the just go to the manga. Why 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 are you like this? Why are you like this, Jump Plus? Not Jump Plus. Manga Plus. It's on Manga Plus too. Yes, I'm seeing that and I'm struggling. I just sometimes just wanna click the name of the Ooh, 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 girl. Talk to me. Yes, you get a gift. Here you go. Yeah, sometimes I just want to click the name to find out more, and it just opens the chapter, and I don't want the chapter. I want the manga. I find their UI kind of annoying. Okay. So we've talked to everyone. Let's go set up our gifts for tomorrow. Everything else that's in my inventory, I can deal with tomorrow. That's fine. And then we're going to switch games. I have this stupid system of storing potential gifts on this corner of my island, but they're just things that my villagers, islanders, whatever, have given me from gifting them things. So it's just like my gift recycler. Oh, wait. Um, let's put that down. Three, four, five, six. Put that there. And then pick up eight items. One two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm struggling. Eight. And then go put everything down and then we wrap it. Ah, oh, my life is very tedious. This is the kind of tedious bullshit that I do every day. Why? Because I don't know. I don't know anymore. I quit this game for quite some time and then I got back into it because one of my friends was like, this is how we're going to connect. We can play it together. And then she has not played it in well over a, a year. No, definitely well over a year. Because I remember well over a year ago, last June, I was sitting in her house with both of our switches running and I was transferring a bunch of items over to her. This is exactly why I refuse to play Animal Crossing again. Um, yeah, it is our mutual friend that I'm complaining about her lack of Animal Crossing usage <laughs> over the last year for obvious reasons. I mean, like, I'm not actually complaining. She has very valid reasons to not be playing Animal Crossing. <laughs> but, you know. 
figure I'd just connect the story here. Okay, put that there, and then put that there. Okay. It just gets like, I just get really addicted to this game. So, you know, the addiction stream title is not wrong because I am addicted to getting every single item in this game. And so recently I bought a new phone and I use this app for tracking Animal Crossing items, but the data wouldn't like transfer over and it was being a pain in the butt. So I manually entered in every item 19,000 items into this new like the the ones that I have logging it into the app on my new phone and it took like four days it was hell <clears throat> and that's how deep this terrible addiction runs it's great it's great it's great no we're, we're all good I don't have issues I don't know what you're talking about <laughs> Oh, I should, while that's doing things, I'm going to close that, I'm going to close that, I'm going to not do that, um, close that, close that, get it, it, it. come on, art bot, stop following me, please. Oh my god. Excuse me. That, yeah, that sound sounds like it's popcorning in my earbuds. I don't know if it is, or earbuds? Headphones. I don't know if it is for you. Um, I was going to stream manager. There we go. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna switch. Ah, okay. Oh, I see, I see. Um, it's good on your end. Okay, that's cool. Ah, hi, Ninja. Um, thank you for the the bits. I have never done this before. <laughs> I don't think I have a, um, a notification for it. Oh, jeez. Thank you. I appreciate it a lot. <laughs> Finally got to do this. Thank you. Ah. Wait, isn't it like stupid o'clock? Should you not be in bed right now? <laughs> How's it going? It's been a while. I'm sick. That's how it's going. Um, wanted to say hi, haha. Ha. Hi. You should sleep soon. But yeah, I I'm sick. I'm hope I hope that the <laughs> I get words. Um, I hope that you are well. I am not clearly. Um, but I really wanted to stream because this is what we're gonna stream now, folks. Suica game. I had. My trip was really good, though. Thank you for asking. It was, um, it was really, really good. I, I really, really want to go back to Japan. Oh, my God. Um, I should change that and over here. Oh. Stream settings. Now playing Suica game. Oh, this music's going to get stuck in my head. I can, I can tell. Um, yeah, I don't know, I don't have a ton to talk about. I really liked Osaka, Osaka was really nice. It was way less chaotic than Tokyo. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, Beppu was gorgeous. I have a ton of pictures on Twitter if you wanted to check that out. Um, this music feels too loud for me. I'm gonna turn this down a little bit, at least on my end. Japan is just the best. Yeah, except for that cockroach that flew into my arm. There was this hilarious moment where we were standing outside um, 
Ukyukatsu in um, Akihabara and there's always a lineup because it is amazing and there's like people from like five different countries in this friggin line and this cockroach flew right at me and landed on my arm and then flew off and landed on a pole and I was so grossed out but then it flew into like the crowd of people so like we had this moment of solidarity of like oh my god this gigantic flying cockroach asshole it was um quite amusing yeah, speaking of cockroaches, a very familiar cockroach has landed on Twitch. Honestly, like, I saw I saw some of the discussion on that. But yeah, I'm, I'm happy for her. Like, as long as she's happy. I spent all day listening to <coughs> a certain person's graduation. So I feel like, I don't know, I'm, I'm happy for her. <coughs> oh my god. Um, and I gotta support, you know, fellow bug girls, because, obviously, speaking, or, I, I've heard of people in Japan battling with cockroaches, yeah, they're, the, the flying cockroaches in Japan are, like, next level. Wildlife-wise, that's probably the worst thing I had to deal with, um, otherwise, didn't really deal with any wildlife, the crows were big and loud, though, that was a new experience, and, um, didn't run into monkeys. Uh, at one point, while climbing up Fushimi Inari, um, the the fox shrine with like all the red Tory gates, um, there was uh, there were signs saying "Don't look into monkeys' eyes if you see them, and if there's a boar, get away." And I'm like, oh boy. Yeah, Japanese crows are wild, and I saw a heron too. That was wild. Yeah, well, whatever the case, it's up to people to decide what they do. Yep. Yeah, these crows were so big. I tried to get a picture of one, and instead I got a picture of its ass as it was taking off, which is kind of amusing. Animals are wild. Yeah, I was, like, thinking, what, like, wildlife would I run into in Japan? I didn't look it up at all. At one point, at an outdoor onsen, being like, are there snakes around? I just had my feet in the onsen. I wasn't, like, in the onsen, you know? It was an outdoor public onsen, which means it's gender neutral, which means there is definitely an old Japanese man naked behind me, and I'm just staring at my feet, and I'm like, <coughs> listening to one of my friends talk to him about where we're from, and specifically asking where I'm from, because <laughs> I'm obviously white. <coughs> that sounds so cool, I can only dream. Yeah, it was really nice. Okay, let's uh let's get started okay left and right to control and a to drop ready i didn't even bother okay so i've been addicted to clones of this game lately and one of my friends made a clone that's apparently nicer than this one oops i should have did the other one that's fine this game been, can be kind of cruel, apparently. I haven't been watching a lot of people streaming it. Because I knew I wanted to play it myself. The music is so cute, though. No! Jerk. news oh is that good enough oh no it got stuck darn that's fine how well do these stack not well at all well that's unfortunate oh well the physics are a little bit different than my friend's game but we make do. This is not quite what I'm used to. Ah, sorry, I'm missing things. Um, going abroad, everyone always looks at you as though you're some alien. 
Yeah, especially when you're, like, obnoxiously white and you're in Japan, but, you know, oh well. I've s <laughs> see some of my friends could, like, maybe pass at least for, like, five seconds pretending to be Japanese, but definitely not me. I've seen some Yuji peeps play this for hours on end. Yeah, a lot of people have been very addicted to this, and I'm like, it'll be a short stream. Ah, oops. No. Oh. This is basically like that game 2048. Yeah, I was describing it as 2048, but with physics. And do not get me started on how addicted I got to 2048 back then. Because, oh boy, was I addicted. Man, these do these fruits, they don't stack as well as I had hoped. That's oops, I should have put that over. Oh, those don't stack nicely though. Can I put that there? No, rude. That's okay. No, that's so rude. Why did that melon start falling? <coughs> Not melon, but whatever this thing is. When the only Japanese you know is from anime and you're accidentally offending everyone, oh no. Try not to do that. <laughs> Me, like, desperately trying to speak to the ladies at the gym asking where the water fountain is. And she ends up just leading me into the, um, accessible washroom to fill my, um, bottle at the tap. She was like, there's also, like, plastic bottles, but she prefers tap water as well. And I'm sitting there with, like, my open water bottle. So, we managed to figure it out. My grammar was really bad when I was asking where um, water was, though, as I found out later. But that's okay. Because I, like, I was like, I'm going to be independent. I'm not going to ask my friend for help. I'm going to I'm gonna do this. And I come back and I tell him what I said. And he's like, your grammar is bad. And I'm like, no! Oh, come on. I'm going to regret filling that hole. <laughs> Oh no! Darn it! No! Fuck. The physics in this! I'm that weird person who actually enjoys playing 2048 once in a blue moon. I haven't touched in a long time and it's probably for the best because I'm gonna be really addicted to this soon. No! Rude. Well, our first game's not gonna go that well, but that's okay. The tolerance for this is going to be real low. This is going to put me over the edge, isn't it? Oh. There it is. Yeah. Okay, that's our first game over. That's fine. <coughs> Other languages are tricky. You could be accidentally saying peach instead of beach or something. Yeah. It's always kind of hard. Oh, what does it say? Ritorai. I don't know what that means, so. A oh, retry. <laughs> what does that mean? Um, I don't know. I'm going to click it, though. Ah, okay, no. Let's just do retry. When the fruits are not touching Pepe hands. Yeah, exactly. It's like, you could have, but you didn't. And that's rude. Rude game. But I think this was worded as, like, Japan's hardest game or something silly like that. So it's meant to be rude. Hmm, what else about Japan? I miss 
how good and cheap food was. Oh my god. Food is so expensive here. I hate it. It's like, I went to this cute local Japanese place that I always go to near my house. And I'm like, I'm gonna get a Japanese breakfast because I'm here at breakfast time. Ho 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 ho. Am I a silly goose for thinking that that would be reasonable? <laughs> Cost me $16. <laughs> for this almost the same meal in Japan cost me... Uh, fuck you, little cherry over there. Almost the same meal in Japan cost me $5. Oh, okay, it still worked. We're good, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. I don't need to curse this game. I <clears throat> think I could learn Japanese faster than it'll take um, Japan to localize their games in English. Exactly. And, like, the more you expose yourself to it, like, my reading comprehension went up significantly. After being in Japan for two weeks, I had an easier time reading katakana, even though I still very much suck at reading kana katakana as... Um, Shown by me trying to read the word retry a minute ago. Um, but, yeah, it's just exposure. Exposing yourself to... Oh, why did it glitch over there? That was... I have words. So many small food places over there, there must be very affordable. Yeah, I got like, for only a few dollars, I got <coughs> six takoyaki at this like adorable little takoyaki stand like around the corner from my place in Osaka. And my friend and I stood there talking to the guy for like 10 minutes. What? It did the glitch again. Is it my Joy-Con drift? It might be. But yeah, we, we stood there talking on this guy for like 10 minutes um, with like his broken English and like my very broken Japanese. Um, and he was like talking about, um, or he was asking where we're from. So we told him and he's like, oh, I've been to Canada before. I've been there for snowboarding. And we're like, okay, so like probably on the other side. And then he was talking to my friend because she snowboards. And she talks about, like, getting hurt a lot snowboarding. And then he asked her if she still um, has fun. And she's like, yes, of course. So that was really cute. <clears throat> and it was really good takoyaki. Oh, my God. <coughs> our other two... Oh, my... <coughs> I'm dying. Um, our other two friends were already asleep at that point. But we're like, let's go to the grocery store and buy really cheap food oh my god okay so yeah there's this like budget grocery store that's like pretty much only in osaka which i discovered by watching a creepy nuts video recently actually um the guy was rapping in front of one of these grocery stores i'm like oh i recognize that logo i used to go to that grocery store <laughs> not oh i see no i don't see it's just glitchy okay well not the same location, but and then I looked up the store and it's like only in Osaka and I'm like, oh, that's, that's cool. Do you think you'd ever move to Japan if you could get a, a job over there? Maybe. Um, I get very frustrated very easily with bullshit bureaucracy though, so I know that that would be very much an annoying thing to me. But transit is really nice there. Um... So, one cool thing about, like, transit in Japan is that, um, or not not just transit, but, like, just general safety in Japan, is that a lot of people carry their phones just as, like, a purse, basically. They've got, <coughs> um, like, a strap, basically, attached to their phone, whether it's through, like, a charm taped on the outside or, like, a little thing sticking out the, um, like, a tab sticking out the charging port area. But they just have their phone strapped to them like a purse. And there's, like, really cute ways to wear it and, like, all these accessories that are really cute. But, like, you can't do that here. You're going to get mugged. And especially with, like, a phone like mine. I'm, I, I was really looking forward to being able to wear my phone like that here. And then I realized, like, no, it's not feasible and I'm going to get mugged. 
Nothing like listening to a VTuber hack up phlegm live on stream. Yeah, I'm sorry. I am still very sick. Just not quite as sick as I was a couple days ago, and I wanted to stream because it's been a while, and I wanted to play this fucking game. Okay, well, we're already doing significantly better than we were last round. We've got a, a pineapple. We haven't shot any fruit into space yet. Um, yes, thank you. My grocery order has been delivered. It was delivered like four hours ago, but okay. Thanks for that email. Jesus. No. Oh, God. Okay. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. Oh, yeah. Look at us go. We got a honeydew. We're almost there. Hmm. Right there. No! No! You rolled the wrong way. Rude. Okay. Everything just started sinking just now. Everything is very convenient and optimized, although they have a lot of weird laws and a lot of paperwork. Yeah, the paperwork is not optimized. Uh, oh god, me trying to speak to- <laughs> I had so many issues at the stupid mailing office, because- Okay, I ordered some things from the Nichi Sanji store, but I didn't want to pay extra for FedEx shipping. So I was holding out that e-packet would still be a thing, but turns out they are just, like, no longer shipping that to Canada. And, um... <coughs> so I talked to some folks, and I got it arranged that um, my package would be dropped off at the, like, post office near where I was staying. Um, I didn't end up getting it until the morning we were leaving, so that was almost stressful. Almost. Honestly, the more stressful part was just trying to talk to this poor lady in Japanese when I could not speak Japanese. My friend didn't come with me the second time. Which is fine. It's not his job. <coughs> oh my god. I'm gonna die soon. And not from the cold. I mean, I mean in game. I'm going to die in game. <laughs> Let's well, I'm gonna gotta get up before 9 a.m. Bro, yeah, go to sleep, man. Have a good night. Thank you for stopping by and thank you for the bits. Take it easy. I will try. Work is a lot right now. <laughs> Especially because I didn't work as much last week because I was sick. Ah. At one point, I texted my boss at like 3 in the morning. Or I emailed him the time that I messaged at 3 in the morning being like, um, I'm still, or no, it's almost 6 in the morning. I'm like, I'm still awake. I'm not gonna be online until this afternoon. Bye! He got it. It was fine. All good. But yeah, have a good night. Sleep well. I am going to be here. Addicted to fruit. Oh, I died. That's okay. Almost 2,000. That's exciting. Oh, water. Sweet water. Big stretch. Oh. Uh. Okay, let's go. We got this. We're getting the hang of this. We'll be able to get over 2,000 soon. Definitely the stream. Man, this music is 
very cute and very addictive. Like this game. No! no. Wow, I got really loud there. Oops. No, why did it? Okay, well, it also got weird physics there. Oh, let me tell you about <coughs> the pain in the butt it was to get this game. So this game is only available on the Japanese eShop. Now, I have two um, Switch, or like, yeah, I guess Nintendo... Um, Accounts? Not, it wasn't even an account at that point. It was just like a profile. There we go. Profile on uh, my Switch. And one of them wasn't tied to, an, uh, to a Nintendo account. So I made a Japanese Nintendo account. Easy. Fine. Go to the, the eShop. It won't let me pay with PayPal. It won't let me pay with, obviously, my Canadian credit cards. It won't let me. So I start looking up how to buy... Um, games on the Japanese eShop while in the West, and they're all saying you need to get a, uh, like a, a gift card thing, basically, for the eShop, and so it's like, oh, this would have been so much easier a month ago when I was in Japan, you know, but is what it is, um, and then, so I, I found two options. One of them was to give <coughs> Amazon money, which is not what I wanted to do, but that's the only one with a $5 card. And I legitimately tried, and I could not get a... I couldn't buy anything on the Japanese Amazon store for similar reasons of Canadian credit card. So, and PayPal wasn't working either. So I had to go with... Oh, that's not where I wanted to drop, but that's fine. Everything, everything changed. Okay, okay. I had to go to uh, the store called Play Asia, but they, at the time, didn't have 500 yen cards, or 1,000 yen cards in stock, or 1,500 yen cards in stock. So I had to spend 3,000 yen, which is $30, on a card for a $2.50 game. This game was like 250 or 260 yen. So now I have the equivalent of $27 in the Japanese eShop that at some point I will buy some Japanese exclusive game with it. But I don't know what yet. So I'm open to suggestions. One moment, I'm going to mute. No one needs to hear me <coughs> forking up phlegm or blowing my nose. So, yeah, that, that is why I'm mute. So, yeah, that is how I got this game, and I did that, like, a week ago. Okay, actually, I'm going to also go into why I got addicted to this game, because I knew it was going to be addictive, and I... Fucking, why are you doing that? Why are you blipping through walls? Unfair. I knew that I would likely get addicted to this game. I know what tends to trigger my addictions. Um, and I knew that this would be an issue. So I did not watch anyone stream it. Because I was like, nope, it's going to be a lot of the same. And I know as soon as I look at it, I'm going to want to play it. So I'm not going to watch any of these. Q Wednesday of two weeks ago. I wake up at 6.30 in the morning to my phone buzzing because I forgot to turn it on silent. And I normally keep it off silent so I don't miss calls from my boss. Um, and I wake up at 6.30 in the morning and one of my friends texts me going, Are you able to get the Suica game? 
because at this point I had not explored my options, um, obviously, because I was not dead set on playing this fucking game. And he knew that I had a switch. Damn it! Um, so I was like, no, but, um, let me take a look or something like that. Or like, I heard you can't get it outside of Japan, maybe? I don't know. But then I sent him a couple clones that I had seen. <coughs> Excuse me, seen online that morning. One of them was this, uh, Booba clone. I really like the physics in that one, but it's very different from this. But very optimized for mobile phone. Um, but I I started work and I turned on an Ollie stream because she was playing it at that moment. And I was like, perfect. I'm going to watch Ollie play it. Ten seconds later, I'm like, I need to play this fucking game right fucking now. Oh my god. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I, I got addicted. Evidently, so did one of my friends as why he texted me at 6.30 in the morning about this game. This mad lad then proceeded to spend the next, like, three or four days building his own clone of it. And then getting all of us to play it. Um... So that kept me sane for a couple, um... I'm gonna turn off that. Uh, that kept me sane for a couple, um, nights at, like, five in the morning when I could not sleep and I'm like, I'm going to play this clone on my phone. And here we is. I finally get to play it. For real, for real. But I still have the clone to play on my phone at six in the morning when I can't sleep. Whoa, uh oh. No one got sent to space. We're all good. We just have two pineapples. This is not optimized. Oh no, I'm gonna die. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, maybe. I'm gonna try to wedge this this way. Get those two together. Yeah, big old peach. Oh, it was funny. Um, also on the trip, my friends and I used uh, this app for like tracking split purchases and things that we've covered for each other. When my friends and I were at the grocery store and we we're looking at these gigantic, oh, I die. These gigantic peaches and we're debating like getting them or not. And we got them. So, the, but it was like $6 for two peaches, so it was like $3 a peach. So we're like, okay, like this isn't a like right off buying snacks for the group. We, we're going to track this one. And she, god damn it, she puts it in the group, uh, like as an expense. She labels it big booty peaches, which is quite amusing. So they really were big booty peaches. go. They're really good peaches. You know, I realized that I did not comment on the taste of these peaches, but they were really good. But like, they were the be a savage and eat it while drooling all over yourself over the sink. And you can't move until you're done your peach. What we ended up doing is um, actually just 
splitting each peach over a couple of days so we each only had half a peach at a time so it was slightly less like unhinged trying to eat this peach <laughs> we had so many snacks and the snacks were so good and like the kombini food was so good and I just am sad that we don't have that quality of like easy and good and somewhat actually kind of healthy food at our disposal <laughs> I miss combinis. I knew um, I'd probably go like a little bit bonkers my first time in a combini. So I didn't actually, I think, no, I did briefly go to a combini the first night we were there because I needed something to eat because I had been up for like nearly 30 hours and just needed to put food in stomach. And I think I got onigiri from uh, the kombini. That was good. But I, I kept joking that I was just going to have a meltdown in the kombini, just getting way too excited over it. That never ended up really happening. Actually, I didn't go as, like, silly buying things as one of my friends who had been to Japan before did. Actually, I was the only person in our group who hadn't been to Japan before. It was good. It was a really good experience. And we all traveled really well together, which was good to know. Especially considering, like, I was a last-minute addition. I didn't know a couple of the people, and there's only four of us. I only knew one person going into this. Um, met one of them as we were boarding the flight, and met the other in Japan, because he was on a different flight. Um, <laughs> but it was good really good and it was funny because um we got little fox fortunes at um pushmi nadi and uh mine had a thing about traveling well with like good people and i'm like nice and like we're reading them out loud to each other um so i got to share that with them one of my friends actually left her phone at that shop we ran like part way up the mountain to go get her phone back it was so hot and I'm like trying to speak to this little old lady in Japanese because she's like got my friend's phone because I called it to see if it was at the shop and I was like okay this isn't working she's hung up on me because clearly like she's not understanding me but like she I think got the gist that like I was trying to figure out where my friend's phone was and that we we're coming and we we're the group of foreigners that was just there <laughs> And then, like, a minute later sees my friend and I running up the mountain. So she's like, okay, here you go. Here's your phone. Yeah, it was uh, a very frightening moment realizing that she didn't have her phone in Japan. And this was, like, halfway through the trip. Um, so don't want to lose your phone. <laughs> uh, but it, it was all good because we had a good idea of where it was she didn't realize like too late after misplacing it that she had lost it oh no 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 go go down go down go down go down go down go down go down. yes that is the direction you should go in yes <laughs> yeah it, it wasn't like too long that she was without her phone so it was all good it wasn't like too too bad it wasn't super stressful or anything and like she'd doesn't care about her phone itself like it's kind of a broken piece of garbage but like she uh still would have liked to have her phone because it's a good thing to have especially when you frequently break off into smaller groups or go solo which happened a few times so satisfying when they just just squeeze yeah i know i was really hoping that would go and it went you went to japan yeah um, Ninja was asking earlier about how the trip went, but yeah, I went to Japan for two weeks in September, uh, the beginning of September, and it was really, really good. Um, I've got a ton of pictures on my Twitter, um, it's just a big old thread there, 
lots of pictures, usually without context. Um, and it's just the various things that I was doing. I went to um, Osaka. Um, I was in Tokyo for a week. And um, I went to this town called Beppu. It's on uh, Kyushu in the south. And um, it's a hot springs town. Although we didn't actually go to any, like proper onsen like we went to a, an outdoor onsen but we didn't get naked because there was random old Japanese men there and I didn't want to make them feel uncomfortable and I was feeling uncomfortable so yeah just no, no one got naked <coughs> um except for of course the random old naked Japanese man <laughs> but that's okay no shame my one friend was like, I don't care. I see dicks all day. I'm a nurse. And I'm like, okay, but, like, I don't... I don't. <laughs> the hiking was really nice around Beppu, though. Like, oh my god. It was so hot, though. Holy shit. Like, we got off the plane, and, you know, like, the little tunnel thing between the plane door and like the the airport terminal um because it's not like insulated it's not air conditioned it, you just get immediately hit with the wall of oppressive heat and we're like oh god we underestimated how hot it was here oh no we're gonna die <laughs> it's so hot But we didn't like truly experience it until the next day when we took the um, Shinkansen to Osaka. And we got off the train in Osaka. And it had been like lovely air conditioning on, oh, damn it, on the train. But we get off in Osaka and it's just like immediately again, just a wall of heat the second we stepped off the Shinkansen. And we're like, oh no. And we got out at um, Shin Osaka Station and. Um, there's a sign across the street with like a temperature and it's like 35 degrees and we're like this is a tropical 35 i'm whining that my white ass no i didn't go during summer i went in the er in early september i expected it to be reasonable it was not reasonable <laughs> But yeah, 35 degrees tropical heat. My white ass cannot handle this. And it, I was, I was struggling a lot. It was a lot better once I didn't have to drag my suitcases around. Ooh, we broke 2,000. Nice. Good timing, because I'm about to die. Oh no, it's swelling upwards. Um... Um, yeah, we dropped off our, s oh, nice, got another, um, we're so close to getting a watermelon, fuck me, um, we dropped off our suitcases in a coin locker, because we we're going to be taking a boat to Beppu that night, so we just, like, messed around in Osaka for the day, and then in the evening, made our boat, and then, yeah, took, took the boat, it was nice. But then when we got to Beppu, it was like 6 in the morning. And, um, nothing is open at 6 in the morning. So we found this, like, chain restaurant and ate there. And that's where I had $5 of beef bowl and raw egg and rice. And it was so good. I had raw egg, like, three days in a row. And I was so excited. Because, like, okay, like, I'm ballsy. I have raw egg here, even though it's not as safe as in Japan. But, like, they were so good in Japan. <coughs> yeah, then we spent the day hiking in Beppu. And then we went up. Uh, Mount Surumi. I really wanted to hike up Mount Surumi. Oh, I died. Um, I really wanted to hike up Mount Surumi, but um, it was so hot. And by the time we got there, we had already done a ton of hiking. Like, we had gone to a waterfall. We'd gone to two different onsens. One of which, apparently, a murder happened at 13 years ago. So, uh, that was sketchy. Um, there were signs all over being like, uh, a very serious crime occurred here. Don't go alone. 
um, if you're a woman or in groups of just women and we're like, um, what's the story here? Um, there was a very serious crime, basically. Um, a woman had, um, gone on a trip on her own to Beppu and was visiting the outdoor hot springs and some asshole man decided to take advantage of that and then also murdered her. Um, <coughs> and he was arrested, but that was 13 years ago. Yeah. Um, but the signs are still everywhere about it in the, in the forest. But, yeah, so we had done all that in the morning, so we weren't going to hike up a volcano that day. It was just way too hot. We were way too, way too tired. So we took the the uh, the rope, ropeway, they call it, the little cars up the mountain. Um, and uh, then we did the, the hike to the summit from the top, from, like, the ropeway station, which is still, like, a bit of a hike, especially considering none of us were used to... Um, uh, <coughs> elevation. So we just got pooped. Well, most of us. Some of us were okay, but I was dying a little. I'm like, I'm not used to being this high up. It was hard to breathe. It was so hot out. But it was really nice, and you're above the clouds. Mountains for me was really nice. And then we took the boat back to Osaka that that evening. Spent a few days in Osaka. Went to Kyoto one day. We, uh... What else? We went to... Where did we go? <laughs> well, yeah, we were, we, were, we were just kind of in and around Osaka for a few days. Then we took... Oh, so on the, the train to Osaka... I didn't even, like, think to look for Mount Fuji until we were way past it. Or I looked at the map and I was like, damn it, I missed it. Like, the lawyer we were sitting next to who was in the window seat closed his goddamn window. And I'm like, sir, why? Anyway. <coughs> On the way back, uh, a typhoon had just gone through, so we didn't get affected by it, but it was still really rainy and miserable and cloudy, and we definitely could not see Fuji from the train. I should drink water. So I didn't see Fuji, which was sad. But it was still nice being near other mountains. Especially, like, you could see the mountains everywhere in, um, like, in the distance in Osaka and Beppu for sure, because it's right there. And I miss being near mountains. Mountains are so nice. Um, <coughs> yeah, and then we spent the, the last week in Tokyo, and so we did a bunch of things in and around Tokyo. Too much time in Akiba, because we were within walking distance of Akiba, so that was dangerous. So we're like, what, are we, what do you want to do? I don't know. Let's just go to Akiba. Sure. So, like, the first day, my friend and I just kind of, like, wandered around aimlessly in Akiba for a few hours. Um, she won a Pochita from a crane, crane game, and then none of us won a single thing from a crane game after that. It was very sad. Oh, technically, I won something from a, like, easy crane game, I guess, um, but it was before. It was in Beppu. I went to, um, uh, this bookstore, and they had a crane game, and my friends were all in other places and I'm like, I'm gonna play this crane game while I'm on my own. And I immediately won the thing I wanted and it was this like tiny little toy, but I was so happy. <coughs> I had really good gotcha luck actually the whole time I was there. So that was kind of nice. But after a while I kind of got tired of gotcha machines. Like I'd still like scan them to see if there's anything interesting, but like there's a lot of, like, same-same kind of things. Oh, that is so rude. There we go. I did bring back a lot of, like, crap from gotcha machines. 
I found one machine, which was the stupidest thing. I don't know who the market for it is, but, you know, uh, ooh, nice. Did you ever have, um, like, the laugh laughing cow cheeses that come in, like, cubes? And there's, like, three rows. There's, like, ham, there's tomato, and there's, like, green olives or something. Because, like, I used to love those as a kid. My grandparents would always get them for us, and my brother and I would, like, snack on them all the time when we'd be at our grandparents. And there was a gotcha machine selling, like, little plastic rings with fake cheese cubes of these, like, laughing cow <coughs> cheese cubes. It was amazing. And I bought one, because I had to. I did get my least favorite flavor, but you know what? Otherwise, I had pretty good gotcha luck, so I'm not really complaining. I was happy to just... That that machine even existed in the first place? Like, wild. Let's see if I can force this peach down. It's not looking good, though. Hmm. Well, I got another pineapple. Ooh. Yes. Nice. Oh, come on. Those apples are so close. No. Oh. How did it have to combine with the higher one? Okay, let's see if I can get that over there. Don't you? Okay, no, that works. Cheese gotcha. Except it's fake cheese. It's it's plastic. It's a toy. But still very amusing. Oh, nice. We're getting somewhere. That's not where I wanted that. Silly glitch. Stop glitching. Be nice, feeding glitch. Thank you. I went to a maid cafe. And that was an experience. It was really cute, honestly, though. And we definitely stood out a little bit, A, because I was the only girl that wasn't a maid in there. Um, and also, B, like, we were the only foreigners in there. It was, it was pretty small. There was only a couple other people in there. Um, there was a man next to us who was clearly a regular. And he was having checkies taken with the girls where he was, like, on the floor, like, on his knees next to them. I didn't really see what he was doing, but, like, I'm sitting there taking a sip of my beer, and my friend looks over, and he's like, what the fuck? <laughs> and I just, like, quickly glance over, see whatever I just described, and I'm like, mm, nope, not having any of that. Do not want to look over there. I'm gonna die. Yep, I died. Darn it. That's degen behavior. Yeah, it really was degen behavior, which is why my friend was just loudly like, what the fuck? <coughs> oh, I need more water. I'm gonna be back in a second.
Okay, anyway, I'm back. Um, but I had to blow my nose, which is why I didn't mute yet. <coughs> yeah, definitely TGen behavior. Um, but I, I guess they're used to it. Um, what else did I do? I went to, okay, well, I went to Don Quixote numerous times, or Donkey, and they have a fucking theme song, and it was to the point that I woke up some days with the Donkey song stuck in my head. It was really bad. Like, not that the song, well, the song is very annoying. Um, I don't know how the people who work there don't go insane listening to it every day. Because spending like an hour in one, I started to go a little bit insane. Um, the store is mapped out to make you go a little bit insane and get lost. It's definitely like a lot of social engineering in that store. <laughs> um, but I went to a number of them. And the one in um, Shibuya um, was really interesting because... They have, um, like, this little, um, pop-up kind of shop thing inside the store, and I knew about this already, and I was hoping to get some, where they sell what's essentially, like, a, a waffle, um, and it's shaped like a hundred yen coin, and it's full of just this block of extremely stretchy cheese and it's so good it's so stretchy it's oh wow look how good we're doing it was so good um none of my friends really wanted any though because one of them was full but willing to eat cheese and the other ones were either not fans of cheese or lactose intolerant and had been eating too much cheese already the strip <coughs> So, I had to eat that entire coin myself, for the most part. It was so good, though. No, was it in Shibuya? I guess. Yeah. Yeah, right? Yeah. No, yeah, it was Shibuya. I don't know why I started doubting myself there. Was it Shibuya? Oh my god. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know, it was good. <coughs> Alcohol was, like, really cheap and accessible, too. It was really nice being able to... Just like no effort, get a couple beers at the Combini, then head back to the Airbnb and get a little toasty. Oh, I see. You can see the top records of all time. That's horrifying. Anyway. Um. definitely not that easy or cheap to get beer here. It's very sad. I actually haven't had any beer other than once at a restaurant since I got back. Mostly because I've been too broke to buy beer. <laughs> Just been probably good for the waistline, you know? After eating so much delicious food in Japan. Although we did walk a whole lot, so it was kind of like net zero. So much walking. Our feet were so sore every single day. I don't know if by the end, like, we're just walking less and pacing ourselves better, or if, like, we'd actually gotten used to it. I'm not entirely sure. Can I get that apple to fall down? Not enough. Hmm. 
Nice. Look at that. Guess we're just embracing it, even though that's not where I clicked. I gotta remember that I can't yell right now because <clears throat> it hurts. Well, we already got one, like, decent score. Oh, okay, gonna eat chicken and rice only now. <laughs> oh, no. I mean, chicken and rice is good, but it definitely can get a little boring. The physics ain't physicking. Yeah. Sometimes it just doesn't work in your favor. Damn it. I wanted it to go the other way. <clears throat> Yeah, we got, like, one pretty decent score already today. Which I'm pretty happy with for now. For now. I'm not quite ready to quit playing for the night, though. Oh, okay. Come on. Come on. Two of these goddamn pineapples have got to combine, for the love of God. Well... I fucked myself. God damn it. <laughs> hmm. It's quite a pickle that I'm in. Oh, they finally touched. Come on, let's go the other way. Nice. Nice. Things are kind of working out for now. I don't think there's going to be a way to get those two to combine for now, though. Oh, maybe. Oh, got them to combine. Nice. Hmm. Oh, I am close to death. Oh, oh no. Oh. I'm gonna die. 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 Oh god, I'm just making silly mistakes because I'm panicking. I'm gonna die. I'm dead. No. That's okay. Here we go again. I will probably set a hard deadline of two hours. So 11 p.m. I will cut off the stream and cut myself off from this very addictive game. <clears throat> oh, I, um, one of the, the weebier things I did was I went to Odaiba, um, and, like, I saw the Gundam and all that, and that's cool, uh, the only Gundam I've seen is Seed Destiny, Don't, or no, not even Seed Destiny, just Seed. Don't ask me why. Um, oh, excuse me. But no, I was there for... Yeah, thank God this game is only available on Japan region account. Yeah, it was a pain in the butt to get. But there are clones. It's only $2.50. But yeah, there are clones that you can play to feed into your addiction. I'm not a bad influence. Shut up. Um, <coughs> As a Love Live fan. I... 
I know thing reviews are, or like I guess fan reception is a little mixed for Nijigasaki High School Idol Club. But it's set in Odaiba, and a lot of the locales are around Odaiba. And, um, so there's, there's lots of things to see for a fan of Nijigasaki School Idol Club. So we went into Diver City. There's, like, cutouts of the girls in the mall, which is cute. I just... <coughs> Excuse me. Um, here, do I have you on Twitter? One moment. Um, we're in Odaiba City, or, uh, well, yeah, Odaiba, but, but we're in Diver City in the mall for a while. But I was, like, trying to keep an eye out for the stairs that one of the characters, like, sings a song on in, like, the first episode. Um, and I didn't see them, and I was, like, a little disappointed. But I was like, that's okay. I'll survive. Turns out they're right behind the Gundam, and I'm actually stupid. Um, <clears throat> uh, do you have do you have Twitter? If not, okay. How about this? Um, if you go to the the one that I really like is Booba B O O B A. Hear me out. Booba dot Rosemilovelock dot com. And that's, that's an addictive one. I have the URL memorized, um, if it has any indication of, um, its addictiveness. But yeah, the fucking stairs were just behind the goddamn Gundam, and I totally missed it, and they're not in any of my pictures of the Gundam, and I'm rather upset at myself. But that's okay. Yeah, it's, it's Booba. It just goes up in size of Niji Sanji Booba. I saw it because Pomu was complaining about how she ranked in the boob size on that game. And I was like, oh, I'm going to play this. Um, I might have just ruined your night, and I'm sorry. Kind of. Because <clears throat> you're going to be playing it all fucking night. The physics in that are a little bit different, um, but I really like the physics in that one. Sometimes you can glitch the game, though. So if you do too many like combos at once, it'll glitch. But I've gotten double Alira. And this was, like, pre-last night's Alira. Oh my god, did you see Alira's <laughs> outfit debut last night? I did not see it, but I saw the images. And, uh, yes, Alira is the biggest. Holy shit. Anyway, um, Love Live. I went to the Gamer's Store in Odaiba and spent too much money on Love Live standees at the Gamer's Store in Odaiba. And then I got a drink. And I didn't know which one to get because my katakana reading was non-existent at that point in time so i got not the one i was planning on getting but that's okay because it was yummy and had chocolate in it <laughs> but it was at the the food truck the love live food truck outside the gamers in odaiba it was funny because like in my group of friends it was like the one girl that I had known for a long time. So we could just basically do anything together. Then I had, like, my partner in crime for D-Gen shit, who I was in Odaiba with. <laughs> because D-Gen shit. Um, we're just gonna be weebs. And then I had uh, the one friend who appreciates good food and good sake and, like, good items, I guess. Um, so... Whenever there was, like, drinking, it would just be the two of us, usually. We, oh god, we went to this one yakitori place, and we ordered something called, like, strong sake. And we got it on the rocks. Or not on the rocks, sorry. We had it, uh, straight. And it was so good. We were just sipping on it like you would whiskey. <coughs> and it was so good. It was, like, the best sake I've ever had. And I, like, need to know what it was. It was so fucking good. Oh, I think about that sake some nights. I'm just like, I just, I really want some. I can't get it. It's a VTuber sake. It was not VTuber sake, although I did buy VSU VTuber, uh, VTuber gin. Um, 
I was like, I, do I want like the entire bottle of Noelgin or should I just get Paco juice? And I was like, I almost got the Paco juice, but it was with one of my friends and like I couldn't read the fucking bottle but she's Chinese and she can read the character for plum and she's like it's it's umeshu you're not gonna like it you don't like plum and I'm like oh you're right I guess I'll get the gin so I got the gin because <laughs> I had just been complaining the day before that I don't like umeshu so she's like yeah I can read this and I can tell you that you're not gonna like it <laughs> If it, I thought it, I honestly did think it was just like regular wine and I'm like, yeah, I'll get a bottle of wine, whatever. I have two bottles of wine in a box that I haven't opened in ever and don't think I ever will from like one of my favorite bands because they released like a commemorative wine thing. So it's uh just in a box on a shelf. I will drink the, the the gin, the Noel gin, though. Because I like gin. It's just that I have an open bottle right now, and I don't really need two open bottles of gin. Like, yeah, having multiple open bottles of whiskey makes more sense, but mm, don't need it for gin. Man, that apple is going to be the death of me soon. Oh, damn it, why did I drop it there? No! No, it's not what I wanted it to roll. Wow, that sounded rude. <clears throat> did they make him from scratch or just rebranding? <coughs> <coughs> oh my god. <coughs> Water. <clears throat> I'm alive. <clears throat> no, I'm not. Okay, one second. I'm gonna mute and then I'll get back to talking about alcohol. Okay, we're back. Uh, sorry about that. Um, so they partner with like pre-existing distilleries or wineries or whatever. But um, I know at least for the Noel gin, she helped pick out the botanicals that would go inside the gin. And like, there's some weird things that don't normally go in gin, like cinnamon, I think. Um, why am I trying to play the Switch game um, with my mouse? That doesn't make sense. <coughs> so... I'm a little apprehensive about, like, just spices instead of regular botanicals being inside this gin, but we'll see how it goes. It's got juniper, at least, I think. I swear to God, if it doesn't have juniper, then, like, is it even gin? Okay, let's try this again. This will probably be our last go for the night. <coughs> Because I should not let this go on too long because of my voice. And also I have to work in the morning. Damn it. <clears throat> yeah, my voice is getting a little bad. We'll see how it is tomorrow after all this talking. Fortunately, I don't generally have to do a lot of talking at work. It's just like occasionally my boss will call me and then we'll have like a call at the end of the day to figure out the last remaining things, but he knows I'm sick, so he gets it. <clears throat> nice. Okay, well, I guess it worked out. That 
bitch ass grape. Better not. There we go. No. Poop. Oh, I should have done that on top of the grape. Oh no. That's okay. We'll get it figured out. Good thing I hadn't clicked anything yet. <laughs> Come on, Peaches. Let's combine. I'm too focused on your gameplay that I did that I judged a bit. Judged a bit what? <laughs> I am also too focused to talk, apparently. Uh -huh. Oh, I got my nose. This is so annoying. I wish I were not sick. <laughs> Send that great flying over. Do 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 Your decision on where to drop the fruits. Like, why did you drop them there? Yeah, no, that's fair. I get it. Um, sometimes I make silly mistakes. Sometimes, honest to God, it glitches halfway across the screen. And I don't know what to do when it does that. I also am used to, like, slightly different physics. So sometimes I'll expect something to fall properly in one place. And it won't. But yeah, I get it. You want to backseat. I, I definitely backseat while um, watching people play similar games like, why did you do that? So I understand. Sometimes I just don't give a shit and I'm like, I'll just see what happens. I'm not getting sweaty over this yet. Damn it, I'm not thinking as well. I'm like a little delirious. I'm gonna put that there. Hope for the best. Let's. I don't think those grapes are gonna touch. Damn it. Sometimes it just bounces, and I don't want it to bounce. No! Why did it roll? So rude. Simple game, but the sweats are real. Not yet, for me at least. But I understand that a lot of people get very sweaty over this game. One of my friends was playing one of the clones. He was actually playing the Booba clone, and he kept on like, because I sent it to him, um, and he kept on uh, restarting whenever he thought the game was going badly. And I'm like, see, I don't care enough. I'll just play the game to fruition. Get it? Because it's fruits. Oh, nice. That was really nice. Wow. We're in a really good place now.
So basically, once this is done, we'll call it quits. But we're not quite there yet. See, it just glitched across the screen. I don't know why. Maybe not. Nice. No, I don't want the cherry to go down there, but now the cherry's there, and now, now I don't know what to do. That's okay. Nice! Oh, we got a watermelon! We got a watermelon, guys! We got a watermelon! Watermelon, we got a watermelon, we got a watermelon. Day one, N fucking nice. Congrats, thank you. Watch me, fuck it all up. No, that's okay. Look at that smug little winky watermelon. What a smug little guy. Oh, okay. Well, that didn't go. That's fine, I guess. Yeesh. Not where I wanted it. Oh, darn it. No. I went too far. This has gone too far. No! God, that glitch is so annoying. Nice. Oh, can we get those cherries to touch? Or not cherries, peaches. What am I saying? Yeah, we got the cherry. We get them to touch. Nice. Do, 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 do. That was a glitch. Nice. Kind of. Ha! <sighs> oh no. I feel like that's gonna bite me in the ass. No, oh, maybe. Okay, we're okay. We're okay. We're okay. We're okay. We're okay. We are still okay. No! Damn it. Okay, now we're actually gonna die soon. Oh god. Oh no. Oh no. Oh yeah, we're dead. 2794. Honestly, that's a pretty good way to end it today. Yeah. Highest score yet, 2794. Pretty respectable, I think. We got a fucking watermelon, and that's pretty sick. 
Um, yeah. Okay, let's hop over here for a second. Do 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 um, what do we got? What do we got? Okay, let's let's read Hikori. Um, Hikori is I think chatting right now. It's been a while. We're breaking the ice with some. I should probably just click on the stream with some Overwatch. Oh, right, yeah, Hikori is playing uh, Overwatch with Nico. So yeah, let's show some love to Hikori. Um. Thank you for stopping by. Uh, I'm sorry I am disgusting and sick. Uh, that's, I'm sure, not been a fun experience, but thank you for hanging out with me while I played. Oh, fuck, why did I? I never changed it up here to Suica Gamu. It just says Suica Gamu, but in Katakana. Um, and that's the logo for this game. I never changed it. Oops, that's okay. Anyway, thank you for uh, joining me for my Animal Crossing dailies and some fun, addictive Suica game. I hope you're not too addicted like me. Um, yeah. And uh, thank you, Ninja, for the bits again and why deviate now for my first subscription. Ah! Okay, yeah, let's let's go hang out with Hikari. <coughs> Do 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 How do I raid? What? What do you mean? What? Why? Why can't I? I'm on my stream manager and it's like not of it. Oh, there. Okay. Here we go. That that's better. Um. Hikori, start raid. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Um. We'll read in a couple minutes, but I hope everyone has a good rest of their night. We'll say hi to Hikori, and then I'm going to probably go to sleep soon. Bye!